Hello friends, this is uh, rear view mirror plus the camera recorder DVR for a car I recently ordered for uh, from eBay Today I will make an unboxing video and after a few days I will be making a, a review one after using it So this one doesn't have any specific brand Nothing written, it's just a DVR, that's it but uh, it comes with the different uh, options like uh, mirror, HD videos, photos, playback, uh, all the <coughs> features. But this doesn't have any specific brand. Let's try. I bought it from uh, eBay. So this is the mirror itself. And as you can see, it comes with a, a camera with adjustable adjustable mechanism and you can see this is mirror let me see what other stuff came with it I think that's the rear view camera yeah that's the camera with the power supply and a long cable okay let's keep it here that's the power cable with the USB you have to power the device yeah no worries yeah the power the rubber bands to strap it on the car Oh, that's the GPS antenna. Hmm, nice. That's good. At least you can get an accurate location in a faster way. And that's uh, hmm, USB cable. Okay. And of course, there is a user manual comes with it. But there is no memory card. It says USB, AV in for the camera, a micro SIM card and the memory card. So basically we, there is no memory card, no worries. I will put a memory card plus a SIM card and it says it's 4G, should be faster, no worries. Let me install it and plug it and let's see how it works, okay. Give me some second. Right now I install everything on the car and it's working perfectly i'm happy with the product and everything is cool so <coughs> i will just uh, turn it on for you and second. so as soon as you turn it on you can video see this menu, start. and it automatically start the video recording and wi-fi everything is connected you can see there is wi-fi there is a uh, Wi-Fi here, mobile, battery charge level, the GPS is connected here and the rear camera is already there in the back. Okay, so the navigation, I changed the maps to Google. Instead of, uh, I, I didn't like the apps which came with it. I just installed the Google map and it, everything is working perfect without any errors GPS location everything. is okay and you can see there is, vehicle moving. there is 13 GPS location that's good that's th 13 satellite <laughs> sorry so if you go to the camera you can see the live recording I just put the split screen so that I can view the back and front at the same time if you want you can change the view to front back or all cameras and if you want you can stop the recording that's really cool then if I go to the Bluetooth you can connect the device music you can hear the music and there is settings Wi-Fi is already on uh, FM if I turn it on I just need to adjust the channel is uh, radio 
I fig configured it for uh, yeah now whatever placing here will be played there and I installed some custom apps like uh, like YouTube right now I don't know okay so if I play the video oh it's app oh, one second let me turn it on again we go to home 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 no home I watched the video there. <laughs> I can't listen to the music in my own studio. Everything is cool. It's a nice entertainment when you are parking the car, class. If you want uh, big screen, no screen, whatever. That's uh, the apps. If you want to install any other apps, just download it. So this is a quick overview. And in setups, you can see the volume, brightness, mobile status, Wi-Fi, DVR setting. Ah, I forgot to see, show you the video recording. If you go to video recording, I can see the forward camera, backward camera. Let's say. Ah. As you can see, the video is very clear. And if I select the back one, even the night recording, you can see it's very clear. Hmm. Even at night, the video recording is really nice. I just put a 32 GB card. It's enough, I think. It's a, it hold one day recording. That's enough. And if you have anything special, just lock the video so it will be stay there. Now, normally I keep it close so I can see the, just the time direction. And if I put reverse, In reverse here. yeah. Carson Rivers, I can see what's going on the back and I can see like move up and down so overall if I if you ask me how this product is I will say it's very nice not for entertainment just for the safety like this is recording your car whenever you are driving it and if someone shake the car it start the recording automatically and it already have a battery built in which is uh, you can see it here the battery level and once you turn off the car it stay overnight so when when I come next day morning the battery will be still there and it will be monitoring the car watching over the car and you can see a live video if you want So for me, it's nice. If you like to try, let me know. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care, I will be coming up with uh, other videos in the future. Good luck, thank you. Actually, I uh, forgot to mention about the problems which I face. So the main thing, I noticed is 
during day or night I need to adjust the brightness manually like at night I put it in the lowest and during the day I put it in the maximum so if it comes with automatic mm -hmm, that's the best thing and another thing is if I do like more apps it's kind of laggy because uh, the recording for the front camera and back camera is going on at the same time also you are watching YouTube or GPS if you put more apps it's kind of lagging so the main purpose of this device is to record the front and back of the car for the safety reasons but if you are using it for entertainment let's say it's watch it's playing it's playing the video without any errors or anything without uh, slowing down skip that I don't like that but you can see it's playing the video at the same time it's recording both the cams the front and the back So when I put uh, more apps, it's kind of lagging. That's the only problem I face. Maybe, maybe because of the processing power, I'm not sure. But for its purpose, it's the best. You can use uh, navigation, no problem. But if you kind of like heavy software, it's kind of lagging. And second thing is, uh, as you know, this video review is from Qatar and uh, you know the temperature in here it's so high so if i completely turn it off the glass it's getting too hot and i'm worried about the battery inside the battery it's also getting too hot i'm not sure whether the battery will blast i'm not sure but so far it survived 45 degrees inside i checked the temperature it survived without any issues it survived so as the temperature rise I want to see if it breaks class it's break we cannot do anything but I hope it doesn't matter because the battery is not that big it's a small one we'll see on that thank you